What's up YouTube? My name is Marvin Aziz. I'm a freelance developer and I'm about to show you how to build this beautiful animated button hover effect with Webflow. This is going to be a quick and easy tutorial, so if you enjoy the content, please hit that like button and subscribe to my channel. Without further ado, let's jump right into it. This is the hover animation we are going to build today. As you can see, I've added some extra, extra interactive elements, but we are going to focus on the button down here. Okay, let's go. Um, what we need is a custom button element, okay? So we're not going to use the standard Webflow element as it does not serve us in this place. All right, so um, I've set up a little button wrapper down here. And within that, there's just a simple text block. And actually, I'm going to rename that text block so that we know. Button text. OK. And also, we are going to need a background. OK, so I'm going to insert another div block. I'm going to call it button background, wrapper, whatever, okay? I want it to be positioned absolute. Um, yeah, that one. And I need the width of, okay, let's start with 5% so that we can actually see it down here and make sure it's got the right background color to start with. Yeah, that's the one. Okay, so um, what we want to do is basically we're going to do that. Okay, so it's coming from zero and it's supposed to go to 100%, not further, further than that, maybe 101, let's see. But we're going to leave it at 0% for now. Select the button wrapper and jump into interactions okay i'm going to choose the element trigger for mouse hover and i'm going to create a new animation it's going to be called button hover in Boom. and i want the button background wrapper to change the size okay it's going to be the initial state so the width is going to be zero percent and then it's supposed to go to a hundred percent right you can see it down here okay i'm going to choose in out cubic for the easing and i wanted to take 0.6 seconds that should be sufficient also, what I would like to do is change the text color as soon as the background changes. So the initial color is supposed to be um, this light brown I chose. I'm going to duplicate this one and stick it next to the to the other animation and change the background to the text color to black. Okay. So as you can see, you can't see the text right now. Um, this is because the text is actually behind the background, which is not how it's supposed to be. So let's fix that. Text should have a Z index of one. And the background wrapper is supposed to have a Z index of zero. Okay, so let's have a look how this looks so far. Yes, as you can see, there's like a little gap in here. And also the background color is not going back. So in order for that to happen, we're going to need to create a, another animation. OK, on the art. But first, let's fix the little gap by simply giving it a width of 101%. Okay, I think that should look nice. 
Yes, that's the one. All right. Let's actually add an animation on hover out. And for that, I'm simply going to duplicate the button hover in animation. And I'm going to rename it to button hover out. I'm going to delete the first two um, states. And this one's supposed to be at 0%. And also the text color is going back to the slight brown. Okay, I'm going to save that. I'll make sure to change the, the easing. I wanted to have ease in and out for the text color. In out cubic looks good. And I think I forgot it down here. Size is fine. Text should be ease in out. But you can play with it. It's like however you prefer it to be. Let's have a look. Yeah. Oh, yes. And that's basically it. So you can go on with it and like do whatever you like with it, right? So it took us like five minutes or so. I really hope you enjoyed the video and learned something from it. If you did, please, please hit that like button and subscribe to my channel. Um, I'd love to create some more videos. So yeah, have fun. See you in the next video.